G'day, this is the part we're making in this video. It's just a small brass handle, um, goes into a hub and would probably look something like this. It's just a press fit into the hub. I'll be making it from some scrap hexagonal brass I've got, which may seem wasteful, but uh, hey, it's scrap. Uh, we'll be doing 4000 RPM uh, throughout this video. This program that I wrote here is particularly bad. I wait until the thing has got really thin and spindly before I face it off, which is a bit daft. Look at that. Wants to jump all over the place. Um, normally I face first and then start doing any roughing down. Um, gives us a nice smooth face for the tool to run into when it starts its cut. You can see even there the tool's not quite on centre. And the thing was parting off rather horribly. Uh, it was parting off completely and causing a lot of damage. That's typical of the damage. And you can see there's a huge nib on the part. And I was using a neutral insert, so I thought I'd try a right-handed insert and see what happened. And it improved no end. When I break it off, the thing breaks off at the part and there's almost no nib left. Hopefully the customer won't have to clean that off. There you can see the difference between a right hand insert and a neutral insert. And there's the two inserts for you to see the slope on the right hand one. Right. Facing off to start with. Three cuts of roughing. And then we get down to doing the contour cut. And then the finish cut. This is feeding at uh, 0.1 per rev, except for this finish cut here where it's 0.05. Using a Sumitomo FC type insert with 15 degrees of rake. And this is the right handed insert at work. And there's the part. I thought I'd do another run showing the ammeter. You can see at 4000 RPM the ammeter really bangs over. Takes a bit of torque to get it started. Now, when I start facing a hex, I like to start below the distance across the flats. So here I'm starting off at 9.5 and then continue with the facing and take it across until it's a bit beyond centre to get rid of any centre nib. Now there's only two cuts this time. Two cuts of 1.7 with a feed at 0.1 really ripping it off. There's the contour cut and there's the finish cut. Again at 0.05 per rev. There's the parting tool. And when I break it off it just breaks off nicely at the part. As you can see there Thank you for watching.